Hey, this is Kevin from kevinscats.com, and welcome to Chapter 8 of the Intro to Joomla series. In this video, we're going to be talking about templates, styles, module positions, and a bit more. So more specifically, we're going to discuss template management, installation, configuration, template styles, the menu template assignment options, module positions, and we'll look at some third-party templates as well. So back to the test site. Let's just jump in here. It shouldn't be too complex of a video because templates are fairly straightforward. So the default Joomla template is Cassiopeia. It is the one that comes with Joomla. Now, templates give a website its style, its layout, um, they, they configure a lot to an extent. They can override certain things. Um, so some templates might make like the blog page look different than another template. So let's go into the administrator panel and take a look at templates. They access the template options. Of course, they have the login, then go to system. And then we have this template area. Now, we discussed mail templates in an earlier video. That's not really what we're talking about here. We're talking about site templates and site template styles. Those are the two options we're going to be looking at here. More, more styles than the templates it itself. There are administrator templates and administrator template styles as well. To my knowledge, no one's uh, released any alternative Joomla 4 administrator templates, but if someone wanted to, they could certainly do that. We can customize the backend administrator template. So this this blue whole thing here can all be customized. We can change colors. We can change the Joomla logo. That can all be done with those two options. We're going to focus more, like I said, on these two here. Let's take a look at site templates first. So this page will show all the templates you currently have installed on your website. And it really includes some like developer options regarding overrides. And this is kind of like more technical stuff. As a regular user, unless you are a uh, web developer coder, you're probably not going to want to do anything in this section here. Because that all relates to like overriding code and things like that. What we really want to pay attention to as just users of Joomla would be the site template styles. And this is what's made to kind of simplify things. It's where we can configure the actual template options from the like user perspective. So if I go and I look at the default style that is currently assigned, and I go to the advanced tab in this case. Now this could be, these options are different depending on what template you're using, but we can see it has an option for branding. Uh, I can select logo images. I can give an alternate title. So let's see what happens if I just turn this off or let's say, uh, I don't know, my website, the best website ever is the tagline. See what happens if I save that and reload. All right, so that replaced that Cassiopeia logo that was up there just with the text, my website, and then it added the tagline or slug below it. Some options for fonts, and let's see, an alternate color scheme, and let's see what happens if I just make it fluid. I see the alternate color scheme instead of blue, it's red, so I guess we have an option of red pill or blue pill here. Now. Again, these template options are completely different from template to template. OK, the next thing I want to discuss before we go ahead and look at some other templates is the template module positions. So module positions are pretty important. We've been working with modules throughout the series, I think, but I haven't talked too much about positioning them or module positions. So we go to the site modules under the module manager. We can see that each module is in a specific position, like searches in the search position, menus in the menu position. In this case, this menu position, for Cassiopeia at least, it is this menu up here going across the top. 
we have a different menu over here, and that's actually the main menu. And in this case, my main menu is down here, and that is in sidebar right. So it makes sense that it would appear in that right sidebar there. Now on the website, I think I did make kind of like I published um published this diagram that just gives an outline of each module position in Cassiopeia. But again, these module positions can vary from template to template. So if you install a new template, chances are nine times out of ten, you're going to have to reconfigure every single module position. So if I want to swap something here. For template positioning, it goes by, well, position first, but if there are multiple modules published to the same position, it will do them in order. So we have special menu, then main menu, and let's see, is this going by order? Position ascending, okay, so it is. So main menu, archived articles, then login form. So we can see here, Login forms at the end comes after the other two items, and and that is what we would expect based on its current position in this tree here. Now, if we go here and we select a specific thing like sidebar right, and then we do it by ordering instead of position, um, the ordering ascending that would be from bottom to top, so that's what we want. Um, it shows login form at the bottom, and this would allow us to like easily reorder the login form. So if I want to move the login form up to the top, now I can do that since I am ordering it by ascending. I reload my website here. If I look over at the login form, now instead of being at the bottom, the login form is at the top. To change the module position for any module, we just open it up. And we go to the position selector here, and it'll show the template along with all the positions that that template has. So as we add more templates to our website, we would want to make sure we're using module positions from the appropriate template. Some of the names tend to be the same between templates. For example, if um, if I install another template that also has a sidebar dash right position, and that's what the developer of that template decided to call that position, then I could actually just leave it alone um, because it goes by the sidebar dash right. That's what it actually uses to locate the, the template or the position on the template. And then if another template uses that same position name, it'll throw the modules into that position. But you always want to check with the template documentation things aren't looking right, there's a good chance that you need to put something into a different position or like they might have just called their sidebar position sidebar instead of sidebar right. All right, the next thing I want to do is talk about installing templates. Now, the Joomla extension directory doesn't include a like a repository of free templates like they do with their extensions. So if you want to find extensions or templates, you have to look with Google. I have a few in the article that are popular by some of the bigger developers, and they include JAPurity3. Um, let's see what that guy looks like. They're all bootstrap-based, and they're all pretty simple. Done with that standard blue like theme and rocket theme's a big one they have helix and their helix framework you can see those are all different different templates that are available for free most templates you'll find online are paid sometimes you can find like like rocket theme for example oh wait what am i doing i mix that up uh, the <laughs> helix is not by rocket theme anyways if we go to some site like Rocket Theme here, we can see they have like template clubs. Um, there's a lot of these, and you pay your yearly or month monthly membership, whatever it is, and then they give you access to all the templates they have on their site. They release a new template like every month or something like that. So if you're developing a, a lot of websites with Joomla and you just want to push them out, or you do see a template you like for whatever reason, by all means, you can go ahead and purchase a template online. They're normally somewhere in the like $50 to $60 range. In this case, it looks like 
maybe they're on sale for 38 bucks. That's not a terrible deal. What I want to do now is show you how we would install a template. And we do it just like we would any other extension. And you download and install a zip file. In this case, I have this template that I created called Jim Charter, and that's the one that I want to demonstrate right now. I've already downloaded the zip file. If you want to check it out, you can download it from my website um, or the link on GitHub. Or you can check out any of the other templates. It really doesn't matter. Whatever suits your fancy. Um, so we want to go ahead and upload that guy. So I'm in the extension manager, just going like I would with anything else. I find the template I want to install. I upload it. I wait for it to extract. And now the template's installed. If I go back to system, the template styles. Now we can see I have Cassiopeia and Jim Charter. I want to set my new template to be the default. When I do that, I hit that little star, I reload, and we can see that the new template has been put into effect. But some things look a little odd. Of course, this, this menu definitely does not look right to me. And that's because of a conflict between the way the menu module is set up for this, with the drop downs and things, and probably the class names too, maybe. And the positioning. So that's something that you'll have to pay attention to as well. If you install a new template, it's not um, unheard of for, for things to look weird. You might have to check the documentation and fix some things. So let's see if I can fix that with the module manager. So if I go into my modules and I take a look at, let's see, I do not want that anymore. So the problem item here is my main menu that's going across the top. Now, for one thing, I know that my template says in the documentation, it only supports up to two levels of content. So only two levels of drop down, not three or more. I'm not sure how many main menu block has, but it might be more than two. And if I look at the advanced tab here, we can see that there's different layouts. And this is still using a layout from Cassiopeia's template. And I just want to use the default and see what that does for my for my appearance of that menu there. All right, perfect. So now my menu is working more or less the way I would hope it would. And as you can see, the entire like layout of the site has changed. And that's all because I'm using a new template. Search module is still in the search position, so that stayed the same. But we can see that my sidebar disappeared entirely. And that is because I used a different module name for my sidebar. So if I want to get that back on my template, if I go into like the login form and I find a sidebar position and I save to there, now when I reload, the sidebar appears off to the right. Then to demonstrate the different site template style options for my template Jim Charter, we can see instead of having a logo or a brand, it has a save icon option, which is something that Cassiopeia needs. Um, a header option for choosing between a using the site title, which it's doing right now, or using like a sample image or full width image, um, or even a module. I'm just going to leave it as use site title, but mine has one or two color modes, dark or light. And if I go to dark, it does that. If I go to light, it's like it was before. And I even have a option that lets the user toggle between dark and light at any time. And that's all specific to this template. So each template will vary by um, the options that are available here. You even have like some custom options. So if you want to change or customize your colors, you can go ahead and just use the color pickers to do that. So if I go there, then I refresh, and now I've got that kind of purple color acting as my primary color. Different templates have different features. Templates from things like Rocket Theme or Helix or whatever those other like premium 
page sites I mentioned before, they tend to have like dozens of configuration options. They even have special like wizards and utilities that look really cool. And they allow you to customize nearly every aspect of the template to kind of make it suit your brand the ways you want to. But if you're just looking for free templates like mine, probably not going to get as many of those cool options. Anyways, and that is template styling. One other thing with regards to template styles is this menu assignment tab. So we can assign different template styles to different pages. For example, if I want to use Cassiopeia on my homepage and my other template on everything else, uh, that's definitely an option. I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but I, I could certainly do that. So now when I go to my homepage, it uses Cassiopeia's template and I go to any other pages, it goes back to my default um, Joom Charta template. Now, one thing of note with template styles is we can actually duplicate them. And then we have two different versions of the same template. So now I have two copies of Joom Charter. So if, say I wanted to make like this copy, I don't know, red. And the primary color here is going to be red. And then I want that to be my homepage. Save and close that. And since it had it already on the other one, it um, it took that off of Cassiopeia, I believe. Yeah, just took it, stole it. Now I have red on the home page, and then everything else should have that purple color, right? If I go to home page, okay, it's red. If I go anywhere else, okay, it's purple again. So you can see it's a powerful way you could customize different areas of your site if you need to. Like some of your pages, maybe you do, you want them to look a little different. Or you want to use a slightly different like layout or different settings under that particular template style. So that, that's how you go about doing that. Okay, well, I believe I've covered pretty much everything I wanted to discuss about templates. Basically, you just find one you think looks nice, install it, set it as your default, and then go into the style settings and play around until you have something that you know you kind of like. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.